Hi, my name is Yoav Yechazkeeli. Allow me to begin with a story. As a young medical officer, I served in the Israeli Medical Corps in a branch which dealt with biological, chemical, and radiological threats. Those were the times before the first Gulf War, and to be prepared against the use of biowarfare agents, what we did was write plans, purchase equipment, and instruct healthcare professionals about the threat. We gathered the key experts in the field to establish a team that would advise the decision makers in real time. So, we invited infectious disease specialists, microbiologists, epidemiologists, veterinary doctors, psychologists, public relations professionals, and more, and asked the former IDF chief medical officer to lead the team. Besides having professional expertise, the foundation of the team was meant to allow for an in-depth and destruction-free advice when decision makers are under severe public and media pressures in time of a crisis. The epidemic management team was exercised and became operational, though, to our relief, no weapons of mass destruction were used in that war. But the same mindset, way of thinking and plans were kept alive and in place for many years to come in preparation for an epidemic. Since the outcome of a deliberate spread of a biowarfare agent is no different than that of a natural outbreak, we came to the understanding that preparedness to such a scenario may serve the public health in peacetime as well. I am now a specialist in internal medicine and in medical management, had served in senior managerial positions in the Israeli healthcare system, and a lecturer in the International Program for Management of Disaster and Emergency Situation in Tel Aviv University School of Public Health. So what is an epidemic? Epidemic is the emergence of people suffering from an infectious disease in a larger extent than usual for the time and place. Let's have a brief look at what characterizes epidemics and at the principles of how to counteract their deleterious effects. Preparedness is key to survive an epidemic, with the main elements being organizational, but no less mental and cognitive. Awareness is crucial for detection and identification that something unusual is starting to happen. The dimension of time changes and becomes unique in an outbreak because of it, the incubation period of infectious diseases. An exposure today reveals itself as a disease only after one to three weeks. This is why any measure you undertake today will take effect only after this time frame. So right from the start, you are lagging behind with your ability to respond. Considering the rapid dynamics of an epidemic spread, this inherent disadvantage can be overcome only by having a unique mindset when making decisions, a brain that thinks as it is actually in the future. An emerging infection poses a special challenge to public health in particular, as in the COVID-19 pandemic in 2020 and the former SARS. An emerging infection is a whole new microorganism, a disease unknown before. Specific features of the disease, such as ways of transmission, infectivity, and clinical manifestations are unknown at first. As all of these are important in order to best protect, prevent, and manage it, thinking about various scenarios, risk assessment, and working according to basic assumptions at first are essential elements of any preparedness plan. Rapid data accumulation, analyzing and implementation of a new body of knowledge are all crucial when an epidemic begins. The fast dynamics of an epidemic also require that measures taken will be subject to real-time assessment for their effectiveness. Open minds and flexibility of thinking are all vital for coping with the ever-changing situation. The author Albert Camus wrote in his novel The Plague, Everybody knows that pestilences have a way of recurring in the world, yet somehow we find it hard to believe in ones that crash down on our heads from a blue sky. There have been as many plagues as wars in history, yet always plagues and wars take people equally by surprise. Denial, no doubt, is common at first in epidemics. Elements of military doctrines, such as intelligence and surprise, are important in epidemics as well as in wars. He also wrote, 
They fancy themselves free, and no one will ever be free so long as there are pestilences. Preparedness plans and continued vigilance toward public health crisis may allow people to suffer less and for humanity to keep on flourishing despite existential threats such as epidemics.